Are you ready to transform your outdoor spaces into paradise? Today, we're breathing new life into those tired old pillows with a splash of creativity and a bit of fabric paint. With just a few simple steps, you'll have patio pillows that look brand new and uniquely you. So grab your supplies. Your patio's new look is just a brush stroke away. Or a paint dabber. Or a paint dabber away. Okay, so you have an you example of a pretty bad looking pillow. Pretty ratty. Mm -hmm. This is uh, one that you already tried to recover. Yeah, so we're upcycling and upcycle basically because so I at one point here, we'll show the picture originally while you start to dis dismantle it, but right. how it looked in its original glory. It was much better. Yeah, so I had taken an old pillow and I had crocheted a top on it and it looked <sighs> nice. It does But that, nice was, that was uh, five years ago. So, it's you, not so you're good no anymore. stranger. You're no stranger to uh, to updoing the the patio furniture. Right. I love this. The pillows. This is good though. That looked good. It was good. It was fun. But uh, we're going to take an easier approach today. But we're going to see if we can revive that pillow one more time. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, okay. we have a couple other. Um, pillows that were ready to upcycle. Yes, I see that. These don't look as bad. These weren't from my house. Our producer <laughs> brought them, so it was a little bit easier, maybe better. Okay. Right. So we've got a couple of different kinds of stencils here. Um, yeah. Either just one that's like a repeating pattern, or I have one that's a fox. Uh, I like the fox. Okay. I know, I know. So like the stencil thing, I've never done. I've never done fabric paint before. I didn't even know that it was a thing. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to help me with this because uh, I don't even know how it dries or anything. Well, we just bought fabric paint, yep. and this is um, from the from the hobby store, right? Mm -hmm. And it's water resistant and all those things, so it works like on an outdoor pillow, and it just soaks into the fabric. In fact, sometimes people will take a pillow that's faded and get the paint colors to match and paint over it to just oh. kind of revive the colors. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so so fabric paint can you can, can be used for a lot of th different yeah. things, I guess. Um, so um, you're going to do a stencil fabric yeah. on yours. And I'm just kind of, and I was gonna kind of try to tape it, but it's not gonna stay. This is think. actually coming out pretty decent. And then I'm gonna do, once I take this off, not only will I try some fabric paint, but also, I like putting tassels. I like the tassels that go on to pillows. So I've never made one, and you kind of gave me a little bit of a tutorial. I think I'll try and make a tassel for either yours or this blue one. So you just want to like come on with the stencil and kind of dab over the pillow. You could do like free form too. I mean, if you're an artist and you want to use a brush, you're just dabbing it on. Yeah. Okay. And it's going well. So far. So, so um. I like the idea of actually coloring parts that were already faded, just those parts, which you could do with probably a brush. Is that right? Yeah, or, or like a, you know, the foam things you use to sometimes paint? Oh, right. Like the edging of, of because things? Because I, I don't normally use those dabbers, and I'm wondering if that's mostly because of uh, the fact that it's fabric paint. Is that why? Well, no, I think the dabber's coming into the stencil, because if you used a brush, you you would be getting underneath the stencil. Oh, okay. okay. So you want to dab like you straight make sure that it's on. on, and you want to go straight up and down so that you don't get it between the yeah pieces. Which off. I know. I told you we found that in my garage. Luckily, you were there to reach it for me. It was very high, very high up. Okay, so so then you might even want yeah. So how's that looking? That could be cool if I did a yeah box on it uh -huh. like that, right? Yeah, maybe do it to the side a little. Oh, you mean like over here? Off center. Yeah. I just kind of like that idea. Okay, okay. So try that. Pick another so. dabber. And you gotta hold it down, kind of nice. Hold the, hold the print. Yeah. Would it help to tape it? Well, the tape wasn't really sticking to the fabric. We might need to pin it, maybe would have been a good idea. Does, um, I see what you mean. So, oh yeah, the dabbing, it is a different technique, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you, it looks like you kind of need a little bit more on the brush than you would think. Is that right? Yeah, you really want to make sure you get it on there, but you don't want to get it um, in the in wrong, the wrong spot. spots either. I know. So you got to keep going after it. Yeah. We also thought, so we brought this old rug from my house too, because yes. we thought this would be fine, a really fun way to have coordinating. Right, right, right. You could have something that looks exactly like it. You could do um, the same colors. You could do a similar pattern. Um, so, yeah, I like that idea, too. What about the, uh, and then also the tassel idea. Yeah. So we brought up some orange. You're going to get you, that? Yep. Have you done much with the tassel before? Yeah. I really like to add tassels to things like blankets and pillows. You yeah. can always kind of, you know, if you want to get, I'd say, 
a lot of plain color things. Like, let's say I got all neutral colored pillows and neutral colored blankets, and then I decided my theme for the year outside was gonna be bright and vibrant and rainbow. Yeah. I could add rainbow tassels and rainbow pom-poms and rainbow things to the edges of things, and I could cut them off the next year with new colors. That's true. I didn't think that, I didn't think that way. Like, like a tassel can, can match it and you can trade it out and you can mm -hmm. do different. So you mentioned, you know, just find a book, even a small book. Book or cardboard. And you're gonna just wrap this around, you said, quite a few times. Yeah, I, I think it depends on how full you need it to be, but we kind of landed on 50 with 50? 50, right? Around 50 times. Yeah. Okay. So you get wrap it around. And I kind of gave you the tips that don't, you want it to be tight, but not too tight, because you're going to have to pull it off that book. Right. And if it's too tight, it won't pull off very easily, right? Yep. So then pull it off the book. Well, oh, no, no, no. Not yet. You got to get a, you got to wrap a string around it, remember? Yeah, yeah. So I can't do that after? No. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> it's, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> it's don't. already partially off. I, I think I can do it. I, I think, think you can do it, but you wanted to get it in there first so it didn't get like. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. <laughs> I wish that everybody had seen the look of terror. <laughs> in my face? On your face. Just I was now. worried. You okay, were. I see. I see. I can still. You can get salvage it. it. I can salvage it, but I see it would have been easier the other way. Okay. So I'm just going to tie this end twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, tie another thing around it, which you taught me. Yes. And that kind of gives it the little, that shape, you know. The, uh, so let's like take a, a little check almost. in on this. Yeah, how's it going? It's coming along. You see, it, it's going to be a little bit, it's not going to be like a super, super clean pattern unless I really like had it taped down pretty well. But you know, the other thing you could do, which we could have done, mm -hmm. is if we had made this on a Cricut with a vinyl that's sticky, yes. the sticky vinyl might have fallen on there nice. That's true. And I do have a Cricut. But you, what you're going to do is you're going to keep lining this pattern up then as you go. And I think what we could also do is take a little paintbrush in and kind of clean it up when we're done too. You know, you because oh. you see where the lions are supposed to be. So totally. if you wanted to come in and kind of clean that up a little bit more, you could. How, how's your oh tassel? <laughs> It actually is coming along just okay. fine. Okay, so what's the next step there? The next step would be to cut the tassel part, the, you know, these parts out. <laughs> right? Yep. I think I'm doing pretty good. And, like, right, see? Yep, that's... Yep. So this one that you made is much better, I'll admit. But <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Okay, and yeah. so then let's just put this together. Okay. If we had wanted to, like, finish up the... Painting, obviously, and we would just attach this little tassel to the side. Yeah. And you can see a little coordinating, nice pillow with orange, and you could redo that another year. Yeah, look at that. Right? Yeah, my tassel looks just fine. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does, Mitchell. <laughs> okay, I'll well, admit it. Yours well, is better. <laughs> I'll have to let this dry now before my I can box, come back in and finish it. It's, it's going well. It's okay.